Hi everyone. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to finish up your Blender Array cube animation. Um, so what we have here is we've turned on the Cycles render engine down right up here on the top center. We've turned on Cycles. I've added in a plane that's going to act as a light. It's a what's called an, an emission object. <clears throat> So I've um, added in the plane, and then I came over here to the materials panel, and I added in a material, and then I changed the surface type to emission. I chose a color of choice, something a little bit warm. There we go. And choose a strength. So maybe I'll go ahead and I'll bump that up to three, make it a little brighter. OK, so now you can see it in here. Um, so now we have to figure out, um, is the light actually physically big enough? So if I go ahead to the middle of my animation, and it takes a little while to uh, update over here, you can see that when the array increases and I have a you know, much bigger count um, of cubes, um, the uh, emission panel is not quite big enough. It's only lighting up this area here. So I think my panel needs to be significantly larger. Alright, so I'm going to go back to frame one. I'm going to right click and select my array panel and I'm going to go ahead and move it back. And I'm also going to scale it up. So I'll press S and maybe I'll scale it up to maybe something like that. Um, and you can see that when I scale it up, um, you can see the lighting change dramatically um, for that single cube. Um, and I'll go ahead and maybe lift it up a little higher. There we go. So after you make changes to the lighting panel, you're probably going to want to click um, and see what that looks like throughout your, um, throughout your animation. Okay, so now the obvious problem here, uh, and you can see that it's basically blocking my entire camera view. Um, even if it wasn't blocking my camera view, um, I would still see it in the scene, even if it was smaller. So how do I get rid of it in the scene but keep the benefits of it? Well, you select the panel. You're then going to come here to the um, object panel over here, the little orange cube. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to come down to the very last category here called Cycles Settings. And you'll see it says Ray Visibility. And if we uncheck Camera, that means basically that the uh, panel will not be seen by the camera's rays, by the camera's light rays. And so now you can see on the right hand side, even though it's lagging, um, you can see that I'm getting the full benefit of this really nice large light. Um, and over here in Cycles, it's trying its best to keep up on my laptop. Um, and there we go. So it's, um, it's pretty good. Definitely better than what it was in the beginning. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and um, render this now. So for render settings, um, you want to come over here and click on the render panel, which is the camera panel. Um, and what I'd like you to do is make sure that um, over here, this is a good setting right here, uh, resolution 1920 by 1080, which is HD. We're going to render at 50% of these settings because we don't want our render to take a huge amount of time. Obviously, if you bump it up to 100%, it's going to look better, but it's going to take a significant amount of time. Um, make sure that your start frame and your end frame are both um, correct. Make sure that your frame rate is 24 frames per second. And then you're going to come down here and you want to go to the output category. You're going to click on this little icon right here for the folder. And you're going to choose where you want your video to go. I'm going to click on desktop. And I'll go ahead and call it something like Array Animation Final. Say Accept. Um, then down here, you're going to want to choose the file type, and you're going to want to change it from a ping, which is what it usually is. You're going to want to change it to a movie FFmpeg video. Um, once you choose FFmpeg video, you're going to come down here to where it says presets, and you're going to choose H.264 in MP4. Now, if you don't see FFmpeg video as an option for a movie type, chances are you're not using um, this version of Blender, and this is version 2.79. Um, at the time of recording, um, at the time of recording, 
2.79a actually got released, um, but I'm using 2.79. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, once you choose the presets there, you can go ahead and save, and then scroll back up here and click on animation, and go get that cup of coffee because it's going to take a while. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this helps you, and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.